done the last two times against us, but he's a terrific guard. And just another reminder of uh, he didn't have a good night a year ago against us. You know, to me, it's that he's just a terrific offensive player, and that puts a lot of pressure on any team that guards him. And he uh, did an excellent job of making the game easy for his teammates, playing within himself, and scored an, an easy 30 plus points. But he's terrific, and uh, we don't have an answer. You know, tried to do a good job of, of making sure we played him as a team, that we went over screens, that we really stayed on him longer. But he's so clever, and we're not the only one who thinks that way, that he has uh, some answers, and I, I really believe has a good supporting cast as well. Did you compare it to last year's game or is that different than what baseball you I don't know. It's a different team. You know, BYU jumped into a 2-3 zone uh, a year ago in the second half. They did it earlier in this year's game. There are times this year where we've really attacked his own well, and uh, part of the effectiveness of their zone today was more uh, about who we were. We had a number of guys that didn't make shots early and uh, weren't going to make them past that either. It was just uh, from our offensive night. When we did have a couple good opportunities, we didn't convert early, and it really started to build against us. And it does in an environment like this against a good team. Was there, uh, I was wondering if you concerned about moving the ball specifically against the zone, or it seemed a little stagnant earlier? Yeah, I mean, we have to move the ball better against it. Uh, we'll take a look at our attack, but, you know, it's sometimes it's you catch it, you pass it, you shot fake, you pass fake, you move it, you move it, you move it, and one more guy's open. Open, did he make it or miss it? We struggled in that area tonight. Okay. Yep.